York Heat Pump Repairs York Heat Pump Repairs If you're looking for help fixing your York Heat Pump, look no further. Our comprehensive York Heat Pump Repairs Guide will explain common issues, provide tips, and show you how to read your model's error codes. Thermostat Problems First of all, check to see if your programmable thermostat is set to have the heat come on at the right time. If everything seems correct, the problem might be a miscalibration that's causing your thermostat to read. The temperature incorrectly or an electrical problem that's stopping the thermostat from communicating with the heat pump. In either case, you'll need to have the thermostat serviced by a professional. Power loss. Sometimes, a tripped breaker is the root source of the issue. Check to make sure your breakers are all in the correct position. However, if this happens on an ongoing basis, it's likely a sign of an electrical failure with the heat pump, which you should have professionally serviced. Broken starter capacitor. Take a moment to listen to your heat pump. If you can hear a faint clicking noise that occurs as the heat pump is supposed to be turning on, your problem is likely with the starter capacitor. This component is responsible for transmitting the electrical charge that turns on the motors you'll need to bring a technician out to replace it. Broken reversing valve. As the name suggests, the reversing valve allows the heat pump to work as both a heater and an air conditioner by reversing the direction of the refrigerant. If the heat pump turns on when you want cool air, but not for heat, this is likely the cause. It will also need to be replaced by a technician. Keep your heat pump away from gutters don't let the outdoor unit sit underneath a leaking gutter. In the winter, water could drip on top of the unit and freeze solid. This will restrict the airflow and cause the whole unit to freeze up. Be proactive when it comes to buildup make it a habit to look at your heat pump during the winter months for signs of excessive ice or snow piled on or around it. Keep the snow, ice and leaves away from the top sides and bottom of the heat pump this is especially important after bad weather the more frequently you keep an eye out for this the less likely you will have issues don't forget about emergency heat turn the thermostat to emergency heat or the off position while removing the buildup this way your heat pump will stop extracting heat during your maintenance the thermostat will heat your house while you are tending to the heat pump but don't forget to turn it back to normal heating once the unit is clear of snow and ice. Practice caution while cleaning to melt the snow and ice, pour warm water or even cool hose water on top of the pump. Don't use any sharp objects to pick or knock the ice off the coils. This could cause severe damage and personal injury. If the unit ices up again after cleaning, call for heat pump service. Elevate your heat pump. Heat pumps should be elevated 4 to 8 inches above ground level. This will keep coils clear of snow and ice and allow for proper drainage due to all the condensed moisture much like an air conditioner. 